we need to change the screen display, the way the page actually displays on screen. And you may notice it's pretty cruddy right now. I'm gonna zoom in close on this page. And as you may recall, this is this old document that I created way long time ago inside InDesign 1.0, and I've upgraded over the years until it's inside InDesign CS, Look and Learn Photoshop 6, so a pretty old book. But more to the point, this is an imported graphic here. This is a graphic that was created in Adobe Illustrator, so it's super sharp. If I were to print this graphic, it's gonna output at the full resolution of the printer. And yet, if I zoom in here, this graphic just looks worse and worse and worse. It's not only jagged and bad looking and very rough, and it's got all these pixels going on in it, but it's illegible at points. This is the word version right there. And you could not tell that unless you knew that in advance. How would you know this is a registered trademark right above here, up above the P? And this is a function of InDesign's typical screen display. Now this is something you see inside Quark Express as well. The irony of sharp, high resolution vector-based artwork when you import it into a page layout program, whether it's Quark Express or InDesign, is that even though it's gonna print great, it looks terrible on screen. In Quark Express, you really don't have too many options. You can make imported photographs look better if you want to. However, you can't really make vector art look any better. Inside InDesign, you can. And the way you do it is to go up to the View menu, choose Display Performance, and choose this option right here, High Quality Display. And if you choose the high quality display option, notice what InDesign does. It goes ahead and renders out that illustration. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, that's either gonna happen super fast, as it did for me here, or it's gonna happen a little more slowly if you have a slower computer. This is a very computationally intensive operation. InDesign has to do a lot of work because it's basically printing to screen. And now you see just how much better this artwork is. And you might ask yourself, well, is this accurate? Does the P actually cut into this pool ball or whatever this is at exactly this location? And the answer is yes. This is a PostScript accurate screen preview. So it really does rock. And it's gonna look better and better the farther you zoom in. And it's even gonna continue to look good as you zoom out. And another thing that's interesting about it, notice when I pan the screen or when I scroll the page using the hand tool here, it shows me this low resolution version of the graphic. But as soon as I get done scrolling, as soon as I let go of my mouse, it's going to give me a better screen display. Now, let me show you that again, because I want you to get a sense of exactly what's going on here. Notice how these colors, the colors in these two illustrations match. Even though they're from different illustrations, this is one piece of placed artwork from Illustrator, once again, and this is a different one. They seem to match in terms of their blues. Their blues look very similar, if not identical, and it turns out they are identical. However, if I was to switch the display performance back to typical display, notice how very different they look. This is more of a sort of a baby blue, a true blue, and this is more of a green blue, more of a cyan. So they look very different than each other, and they don't take full advantages of all the colors that we can see on our screen. Instead of being 24-bit, 16 million color graphics, these are 8-bit, 256 color graphics. So there's a lot of dithering going on. These neighboring pixels that look totally different than each other that are sort of arranged in this pattern. This is called a pattern dither, and it looks awful. However, the good thing about it is it's very quick. So InDesign can display these graphics very, very quickly. It has nothing to do with how the page outputs. It has nothing to do with how the page prints. The page is gonna print beautifully no matter what. It just has to do with how quickly InDesign can show you your pages on screen. So if you have a slow computer, you probably wanna stick with the typical display, this low quality display here. If you have a super fast computer like the one I'm using here, then you're better off using the high quality display here under display performance.